hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is megan and i'm really glad that you're watching this this video is on exercising with a neck brace this is part two to my first video the first video primarily focused on ruling out post-exertional malaise in the diagnostic process of my medical conditions and so part two focuses more on the getting ready to exercise and just my routine on what I wear before recumbent biking in a brace and tips and tricks I found helpful, um, especially as a female. So I hope that you'll find these helpful as well. Why, some context why I wanted to share this so badly is because um, for me, exercising has been crucial with craniocervical instability. I had a conversation with my doctor recently and he told me that oftentimes with cervical instability your vagus nerve is greatly compromised sometimes it'll be compressed or completely compressed um, as well as your csf your cerebral spinal fluid flow and um, exercising will help with your cerebral spinal fluid flow as well as help with your vagal tone and so i have found with cervical instability when i'm not exercising all of my symptoms are exacerbated to um, places that I don't want them to go and so um, even on my worst days I, I find a way to move and um, I find oftentimes a way to recumbent bike that has been my primary source of exercise it is what has made my quality of life much better and I know that the little tips um, are sometimes helpful and just getting myself to the gym as quickly as possible. So that's why I'm sharing this. All right, so first and foremost, as a female, um, I have found wearing zip up sports bras helpful. I'm wearing one right now. It's kind of hard to tell because it's black, but there's a zipper right here and it goes all the way down and then all the way up and there's a little clasp in the middle. Um, why I found this helpful, especially as um, a prolotherapy patient, is because I don't have to take the neck brace off to put it on and that has just reduced jostling and increased stability. Also, um, for my specific case, when I first had prolotherapy, I had to have it on my shoulders because when you have neck instability, sometimes there's pull on the shoulders as well and so you'll have to get um, therapy on your shoulders and so I had limited range of motion overall and trying to put a sports bra over my head was really difficult and I found as a result zip up sports bras to be the way to go so that'd be my first tip next um, I generally wear my hair in a bun um, that's just been most helpful I used to wear my hair in a ponytail when I exercised before a neck brace, but for me that pulls too much, especially because I have really thick hair. I'm going to show you guys the hair ties I find most helpful if you're a female. Um, so I don't like my hair really tight with instability, just my head already feels more unstable, so um, the looser it is, the less exacerbation. So sometimes I will just use like a scrunchie and put my hair loose. I found that exercising in a neck brace, I don't need to have my hair as tight because the whole purpose is when I'm recumbent biking, I'm trying not to jostle my upper body. I try to keep it stabilized. So my hair is probably not going to fall out to begin with. Um, so for me, a scrunchie will do um, the job well enough. Next thing I found helpful in hair ties are these really big hair ties. So as a comparison, this is a normal hair tie. Um, this is what I used to use to put my hair in a ponytail. But what's great about these is that I can wrap it around three times when doing a bun and it will keep my hair um, tight enough, but not squeeze it really tight like this one does. And so it does not pull on my head as much. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to say is for shoes. Right now, I can move around more because I don't, I haven't had prolotherapy on my shoulders recently or the rest of my body. But before I could do that, I um, 
had a hard time bending over and putting on my shoes and so I would have somebody else put on my socks and I would just slip my feet into sandals with socks because it didn't matter what shoes I wore to the gym because um, I wasn't going to be on the road or anything like that so I didn't need to wear running shoes and so what I actually did and found helpful at first was wearing socks with Tevas. I looked a little goofy but it worked really well because the person putting on my shoes just had to strap them and that was easier than trying to get a running shoe on and tighten up all the laces. That would be a tip. Oh and then going back to the hair so when I did have my shoulders done I couldn't put my hair up for myself and so I had somebody else put my hair in a bun and that um, made it possible for my hair to be up. All right, next thing for sweat in a neck brace. What I do is I put paper towels underneath the ch chin strap right here and then in the back of the neck brace and that just absorbs some of the sweat and reduces the saturation in the pads of the neck brace that itself so that the neck brace doesn't get as disgusting. Um, I still will wash the pads in the neck brace after and switch them out with new ones, but I've found that paper towels is just really simple and they're usually readily available anywhere you go. Um, and so it's just a little helpful tip for sweat. And I'm going to show you guys what I do with that. I'm going to take off my neck brace um, and put up my hair and show you guys how I place them. It's really simple. So anytime I take off my neck brace to get ready, I try not to move my head around too much. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. And first and foremost, I put up my hair. I'm going to use the big hair tie because that's what I normally do. And still try to just not move around too much. I've gotten used to it. Um, and then I just do a simple bun. I don't really care what it looks like. I already look like a goober at the gym with my socks and tivas and my paper towel sticking out of my neck brace. So, um, I just have found that beauty is not, and looks really aren't what matters right? in the case of wearing a neck brace at the gym because you usually look unusual to begin with, which is funny. All right, so, and then I put the neck brace back on and I usually have somebody put the paper towels that are going to sit behind this portion of the neck brace in for me because that's easier. Um, but I just get four paper towels. Mine are already folded up. Um, but I'll get this one sheet and have somebody else put it in the back. But you can also put it in the back for yourself. And then I clip it before putting the paper towels in the front. Um, I'll get a smaller sheet, like a half sheet, fold it four times and just put it right underneath here. And then I'll get another sheet and um, fold it up similarly, really small. And I'll put it right here in the chin cup. And so not the whole brace isn't covered, but I don't mind because I wash my pads anyway. This just helps with keeping it cleaner and less saturated with sweat overall. Um, and then I don't wear um, a shirt or leggings right now because I found that taking leggings off after working out is a lot more difficult because they stick to your skin more. And so I'll just um, wear looser shorts and then um, I usually go to the gym without a shirt because when I was getting prolotherapy, putting things over the top of my head was more difficult and it's more socially acceptable to not wear a shirt when you're exercising. So those are things that I have found helpful. I hope that you find them helpful as well. Exercise with instability has been a lifesaver to me and made my quality of life substantially better. All right, guys, I will put out another video soon.